Hey guys, in this video, I'll show you how to extend the artwork of your favorite Pokemon cards using Photoshop. Just a couple of weeks ago, Adobe added their generative AI engine Firefly to a few of their desktop applications. It's also available in the beta versions of Photoshop at the time of this video, which is June 2023. If you're watching this video in the future, many months from now, it's probably already incorporated into the main release of Photoshop. With Firefly AI, a new feature called Generative Fill is available. It uses AI to fill in content that wasn't there before, allowing you to extend artwork. It's similar to Content Aware Fill, but it uses the power of AI. So if you have an Adobe Creative Cloud subscription, you can just download it from the usual place. Um, just look for the beta section here and then just click on it and then you'll see a number of applications which you can install and Photoshop beta being one of them. To start off, we need a card to modify and usually you can get these online. So typically I'll search for one in pkmncards.com. We're going to look for Charizard here and we're just going to pick this one. I like this one because it comes from the ultra premium set and uh, we're going to save the artwork. After downloading your photo, let's open it up in Photoshop beta. So this is the card we just downloaded. And what we're going to do is um, before we start anything is we're going to unlock this layer. So we're going to click the padlock here and then we're going to duplicate the layer. Next, we're going to hide one of the layers. We're just going to keep that as a, an original, and then we're going to use that to um, basically overlay on top of it later on in this video. Next, what we're going to do is change the DPI of this image. We're going to change it to uh, 300 DPI. And we're also going to uh, scale it correctly. So a typical Pokemon card is 2.5 by 3.5 inches. So we're going to do that. Next, we're going to change the canvas size so that we can extend the art. So we're going to make this about 1500 pixels by 1500. And this should give us uh, a lot of room to extend the art. So you can see the canvas is now much larger than the card and we're going to make it fit to the screen and there's a whole bunch of blank area which we're going to use the uh, generative fill to uh, generate new content. So we're going to select some of it here just to show you quickly how it works and you can see there's a new feature here called generative fill which will help us extend the art. So we're going to click on that and here you'll see the generate button. Um, we're going to click on that again and it will start generating uh, artwork for you or extend the art and uh, we'll see how it goes on the first try. And as you can see, it's not very good. It actually generated a lot of gray because of the borders. We're going to have to remove that later, but I just wanted to show you. Um, so you do have other options you can pick on, pick from on the side here. So uh, we're going to undo this because I'll show you how to um, essentially what we're going to do is um, remove the borders and it will actually help the generative AI um, generate better um, artwork or extend the artwork a little better because it will ignore the gray stuff. So what we're going to do is just cut out uh, some of the stuff that you don't want. So we're just going to cut um, this gray top bar here and we're going to get rid of that and I'm just going to use select more of the border. So make sure you have the right layer selected and we're going to select that and then we're going to hit uh, control X or or select it from the menu and we're just going to remove all this gray stuff and even some of the stuff on the bottom and anything else that uh, you don't want the AI to basically kind of uh, mimic. So we're going to cut this little piece up in the corner there, which was part of the border. Get rid of that as well. And uh, we are now going to get rid of this text. So this is where we can actually use the generative fill. So what you can do is select it. 
the prompt will pop up and you hit generate fill and then you hit generate. So you can actually add some keywords or some directions to the previous prompt and it will uh, help the AI in terms of, you know, generating what you want it to do. Um, but we're just going to leave it blank. And you can see it did a pretty good job in getting rid of the text here. And on the right side, you have uh, three options to choose from and pick the one that you think looks the best. I think um, this one looks pretty good. So I'm going to keep that. And there is another little piece here that we're going to do a generative fill. But in this case, I'm just going to select the actual number and then we're going to click generate because we only want that area to be generated. Um, and there you go. It did a pretty good job and I think I like it. So we're going to finish off the rest of this. After it's done, you can see there's three options here and like usual pick the one that you think looks the best. I think this one looks the best. And now you can see on the right hand side, there's like multiple layers now. And what we want to do is actually just merge the visible layers because it gets every time you do a generative fill, it creates a new layer. So what we're going to do now is just merge all the visible layers together so that it's easier to manage. And there you're back to one single layer and all the borders and whatnot and text has been removed. But there is a little piece here that I'm going to cut away that's part of the border. So now what we can do is once we've cleaned up the image, we can actually start generating the remainder of the canvas. So we're going to use the generative fill function again, and we're just going to click generate. This process, of course, depends on how fast your computer is, but uh, any modern machine should be able to generate this fairly quickly. And you can see it actually generated some trees uh, that wasn't there before. And you have three options to choose. And I kind of like this one. But if you don't, you can hit the generate button again, and it will generate three more possible um, uh, options for you, for you to select. So we're going to hit that again. And let's take a look at what it generated. So I actually like the, the first one, so I'm going to select that. And once again, we're going to go to Merge Visible Layers. And we're going to generate some more. So let's generate a little piece here. Basically, you get the idea. You select any area that is blank and you just have the you use this generative fill function and it will fill it in and you have three options and you pick them. So I'm not going to go through this whole process. I'm just going to speed through this really quickly and then show you the results at the end. So if you don't like anything that's in the image, you can also just reselect it and have it generate some new options for you. So these are the three possible options we have here. And uh, let's see. I kind of like that one, so I'm going to keep that. And there's some weird like flame here on this log, so it's kind of out of place. I'm going to generate something else, see what it can give me. And it actually removed it. So yeah, I like this better than And like always, you want to merge the visible layers, just keep it into one layer. So now let's overlay the card on top of the generated artwork. Uh, make sure your card layer or the, is on top of it and then just unhide it, make it visible and you can see the extended art, which is really cool. So this is another version of the card that I generated before. Um, every time you do this, it's going to be different because it's random. So this is the uh, another version of it that I had done previously. And I think this is better. And this is probably what I'm going to be using. I plan to 
print these out and uh, overlay my actual card on top of it, uh, my actual physical card. So um, print it on like a picture as a picture frame or something and then put the card on top of it. I think that looks really cool. Um, so I think it looks better because the trees are more defined compared to this one. You don't really see any trunks. Another card that I did was the 25th anniversary full art Pikachu. And I extended the art uh, here and you can see more of the jungle behind, behind Pikachu. And this looks really neat as well. And like I said before, if you don't like something, you can just reselect it and have it generate something else here. So this leaf here kind of looks a bit weird. So I'm going to have it generate something else and we'll see what it comes up with here. And it gave me three options and these are it. I kind of like this one because it, I think it looks cooler than before and I'm just going to merge the visible and we're going to turn on the card layer just to show you what it looks like uh, overlaid on top and anyways that's it for this video that's how you use Photoshop with the generative fill feature with Firefly AI to generate extended art for your Pokemon cards. Um, hope you found this useful. Have a nice day and I will see you next time.